there's a process of the repair cycle called retracing. And I want you to imagine that you're getting migraines. Well, most people that get migraines get muscle tension headaches between their migraines. So if you can imagine the first six weeks of care, the first two weeks, one, two, three, four muscle tension headaches, one migraine. Second two weeks, one, two, three muscle tension headaches. Fourth week, one muscle tension, one headache, one migraine, and then no headaches. And you say, man, this upper cervical is fantastic. But then, lo and behold, your body wakes up an old injury. So imagine you were out hiking, you stepped in a gopher hole, you sprained your knee, and you hobbled around for about three weeks, and it healed. But it never healed all the way. To this day, when you exercise, that knee won't bend as far as the other one. And what's that tell us? It didn't heal all the way. So imagine a clock that goes all the way around to 10 o'clock and stops. That's kind of the same process here. So you see, when we make a correction, we just don't want to pinch the headache nerves. We don't pinch them all, whether you like it or not. So oftentimes, once your body has your old problem under control, it starts digging up another one. Now, when you go through a repair cycle, when you hit the peak of the cycle, it's very hard to go out of alignment. When you hit the bottom of the cycle, it's very easy to go out of alignment. So you'll go through some ups and downs, but invariably, you'll come out better than you went in. So now you find, I can do squats, I can do lunges, I can kneel in the garden, I can do things I couldn't do before as the body finished up that healing. So it says, when going through cycles of repair and retracing, it's common to feel symptoms you've not felt for months or years. You could feel the symptoms of an old injury, which we discussed. Could be an old illness. Let's say you had some asthma in the past or skin rashes in the past. Doesn't it make sense that as those nerves awaken, some of those symptoms can be activated? But it says you may even experience past emotional distress. Somebody close to you passes on, you don't have time to grieve, you bury it all inside, which we know is not good. And then oftentimes, as your body starts purging those stress issues out of your system, you may think you need some types of medication, when in reality, it's part of the mending process. Now, it says these symptoms may last anywhere from a few minutes to a number of days. The most significant retracing takes place in the blue zones. So you see, falling off a ladder isn't retracing. But tennis level coming back, and you didn't do anything to provoke it, more than likely is. And you really only retrace once in an area. Something that keeps coming back again and again is more likely a degenerative condition versus the body regenerating the tissue. So that's essentially what the process of retracing is in an upper cervical practice.